All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to restore your system after you've had a bad update or maybe you've been working on it all day and you're like, do you know what? I just deleted my trash and I didn't mean to. Oh, man, I'm going to show you how to recover from that using an awesome built in utility called Time Machine Local Snapshots. It's not like your traditional time machine backup where you're backing up everything to an external drive it's basically where the the system takes a snapshot of the files and whatever you change it will revert back right so i'm going to do three examples where i change the file name i'm going to empty the trash and then i am going to run a software update and update my safari and then we're going to revert all back so let's create a snapshot and uh, a local snapshot and I'll show you how to do this alright so let's open up terminal by hitting command spacebar and typing in terminal hitting return I'm gonna hit command plus to blow it up a little bit and the command we're gonna use is called tmutil and if you type in man tm util you can get the man page it's called the time machine utility i'm going to hit q to get out of there what we want to do is we want to see if we have any snapshots currently in our uh, uh available to us that we've already done so i'm going to do tm util list local snapshots I always forget that you got to do a whack for the mount and that's your root mount okay so I have two snapshots currently in there I'm gonna actually delete those before we get started <clears throat> so do TM util delete if I could just type delete And then you're going to do the date for each one. All right, that one's deleted. And then we're going to delete the other one. Oh, get rid of that period. All right, so it's deleted. All right, so now we're going to make a local snapshot. So we're going to do TM util local snapshot oh if I could just type all right so it created our snapshot so any changes that I make after this point I can revert back right so let's go make some changes the first change I want to do is I want to modify my Safari I'm going to install a new Safari so I'm going to do software update minus L all right so it looks like we have a few updates we can do I want to run this Safari update right here and I'm going to do a sudo because it requires elevated access sudo minus I and I'm going to paste that in and I'm going to run this software update All right, so now it's done. It's installed the update. Let's just verify. We're gonna have to quit. We open Safari. Verify the version. Okay, so it upgraded my Safari. Hide the terminal for a second. I am going to change the name of this file to test. Then I am going to empty my trash I have a bunch of stuff in my trash let's see bunch of stuff in my trash let's empty that trash alright so now I'm going to reboot into the recovery partition and I am going to re recover with that time machine backup local snapshot that I just took and you're gonna see how slick this is so reboot your system with Command-R, and I'll see you in a second.
So now that I've got the recovery partition loaded, I'm going to select the top one here. Restore from Time Machine Backup, click Continue. Click Continue one more time. As you can see, I've got three discs to choose from. The one that I was booted from is this Macintosh HD. Uh, I do have a video on how to do dual boot. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. i show you how to dual boot a uh, Mojave 1014 and a Catalina 1015 system. So we're gonna choose this Macintosh, Macintosh HD because that's the one that I was booted from and the one that I am restoring. And it's gonna show me, I have the one snapshot to use, the one that I took. I'm gonna hit continue and continue and it's gonna restore my system and reboot and it's gonna be all restored. All right guys, so now that we've got the system back up, we can check to make sure that everything reverted back. First thing, the file that we changed, the name did revert back. It looks like I have all of the stuff from my trash. And if we go check the version on Safari, it has been reverted back as well. To take this a step further, you could go and run TMUtil local snapshot every time you're about to run updates, or you could figure out a way to do it automatically and automate it, right? So that's what I have here. I have two files on my desktop here. Uh, there are two launch daemons, and what these launch daemons do is they allow me to run a local snapshot this one does my morning one so at 9 a.m every morning this will run a local snapshot as you can see it's running a command local snapshot it runs at load so if i reboot the system the launch daemon will trigger this and then it also runs on a calendar interval of every single day at 9 a.m. And this is my morning launch daemon. And then I have an evening one where I run it at 9 p.m. So then in the event I ever have an issue throughout the day, I can revert back to one of these local snapshots. Um, if you want these files, I'll put a link into uh, the description to get these files um, from my website and uh, you can just uh, use them and put them in place and uh, actually let me let me show you how to load these files up real quick and uh, so you can see how to put these in place once you have them so let's open up the terminal again So what we want to do is we want to copy these files, but we need to do it as root. So I'm going to do drag this file into the terminal and I'm going to do control A to go back to the beginning. I'm going to do a sudo because I want it to be done with elevated permissions, right? Because when it copies, then it'll copy it correctly uh, the way it needs to be. So sudo copy control E to the end and I want to drop that into library launch daemons. And then I want to do the morning one. Actually what I can do is just arrow up, go back All 
All right, so I've copied both of those files into place. Now I've got to load those files. So now that they're there, they're not loaded. If I reboot my system, it'll load those two launch daemons. But if I don't reboot my system, there's no way for them to get loaded. So I need to load them with a command. I'm going to type in sudo launch ctl load now I'm going to go to that location that we just copied them to com dot daily I can hit tab and I'm going to do morning plist now I'm going to launch that service already loaded oh it's because I already have the files there so let me what I can do is I can unload it just to show the example so we do unload so let's do a reload and that's how you unload and load those launch daemons so you need to do it to both of those launch daemons that you just copied so now let's check this out and see we're gonna unload and reload the evening one as well Unload. And then reload it. And now if we do a TM util list local snapshots, the whack, we're going to see all those snapshots that we just the two that we just took by loading those launch daemons. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys, so grab those files, then you'll always be protected in a way. One thing to note, this does not cover external drives. So if you add something or delete something from an external drive, that is not covered in that mount uh, point for that uh, local snapshot. It is for the booted volume. All right, so you guys, I hope you really like this video. And if you do, smash that like button, get subscribed, hit the little icon for the alert so you get next week's video. Uh, and I will see you guys next week. Have an awesome week. Take care.